Alright YouTube, I am Terry Maximo and these are my games. Here we are on an Arabia matchup. Uh, I am in the red, Terry Maximo, at a 8.67 ELO currently. I'm you know, a little bit of an upswing if you've been watching the videos and joining in and tuning along and stuff like that. Um, so that's that's nice. I'm I'm pretty excited about it. I'm you know, every time I want to play, I just want to put the pressure on and put the eager, you know, eager because that's what's been been getting me here. Uh, I don't play defense at all well, so uh, you know we'll see <laughs> see how that goes. Uh, and like I've been saying, one of the main things I've been focusing on is trying to keep this idle TC number as low as possible. And I've gotten a lot better, and I think that's why I've won a couple games in a row, and uh, you know, and, and I'm doing better. And I am the Byzantines, so you know I have stronger buildings. I can sort of build anything. You know, I can build archers, uh, go into some horses, and then the cataphracts. You know, so they have a lot of options there. Oh man, these things are loud. I turned up the elephants and stuff, and now I can hear them everywhere. Uh, <laughs> a lot of options on the Byzantines. Uh, so, you know, that's kind of my game plan going, and if I, I start doing something and I see his counter, I'm like, okay, I'll make a few of something else just to, you know, try to force him into spending, and then maybe using my, uh, you know, uh, counter to his, and then good micro is, you know, hopefully. And on the opponent side in blue, we have straw manager 9,000. So I'm 867, he is 868 ELO, so, you know, don't get much closer than that. And he is the Malay. So uh, I think the Malay are uh, uh, are archers. He, I'm not not a hundred percent certain. I don't. I've only played with him so many times, and because I'm currently on random though right now, I'm I roll the dice. I'm, I'm you know just playing with the situations that I'm given and, and trying to do my best. And here I am. How do I do? Oh, there's look. There's my twelve seconds. Uh, TC. Idle time. Good exit. Guy lives. Get my sheep out of the way so no one starts eating that one too. Good work. Good work. How's he get her his first? Oh, look at that! I'm ahead on the on the, on the elephant. I'm getting loom. He does not have loom yet. Let's see. Does he go in the TC or he just walk it up? No, he walks it up and then shoots him. I used to do that, but I kept, I feel like I kept having villagers die. And now, you know, every now and then I do shoot the, the elephant or boar or rhino or whatever with my TC, so you don't get the meat. Uh, and this one, hoo -hoo -hoo, we'll try to keep an eye on that one, because I was real close. Where are we at? All right, a little bit longer and I go and do it. Um, but I, you know, I'm doing okay. I, I'm still a little bit struggling with, with my TC idle time. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm bringing stuff in. I have sheep left. I have my houses built up to, to 25. So now I can just focus on on building my, my villagers. Okay, I have loom. Does he have loom yet? He does not have loom. All right. So this one, I almost kill this with my TC. Watch. 25. 25. Ooh, jump out. Ooh. Oh, I would have been. It would have tilted me. It would have tilted me because I don't. What, I don't know what I would have done. Um, you know, I probably would. Uh, probably would have milled my my hunt. Is is the only thing I would have uh, thought to do after that. That would have thrown me way off. Because uh, I actually built my barracks um, right before feudal to hopefully get out my man at arms. You know, right once I get into feudal. So that's sort of my goal. And look, I. Uh, this is where I find him. So look, I, I saw it flatten out with my scout. I saw this gold, saw this wood line, and how flat it was. And I was like, okay, he needs has to be close to that. And so I clicked my scout over, and there is his berries. There's one gold, and I keep circling. And I think I find this. Okay, I, I thought I found a wood line over here. So so here's single. You know, so I thought maybe his TC was real close, but then I see this wood line. I'm okay. I found. On one of his wood lines, uh, and then I'm just circling the back. See what else I can find. I can find his stone, 
And has he found me yet? No, he has not. Okay. Okay, now he's getting gloom. I'm on my way up to feudal age. And I find his other wood mine. And look, I see, not only see stuff cut, but I go in enough and I see his longer camp. So I know there's some things there. And I know his berries are here. So I have my <clears throat> uh, barracks on the way up. And, you know, I put three on to gold because I want to have the gold to go up to man at arms immediately. Uh, so that's why I wanted to make sure I had my, my people spread out. And I mean, it's, if I, it's not too bad if I had to wall up because I'd probably try to wall in those guys. Well, you know, I, it's hard to say. I mean, this part's the, so that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to build my stuff around this wood line. And so my militia's going to hit. And I think once I get into feudal, um, look, I, I get my pop space up. And then once I get into feudal, I think I'm pounding the, the man at arms. And I should have, um, I had enough to do it, but I built, I think I start building some farms. Um, I should have built my, my blacksmith maybe and got an upgrade, but I look instantly the man at arms. So I'm getting these guys together. And my thoughts are, okay, I gotta hit this uh, berries. I gotta hit these berries, I gotta take some damage, do some things. So I wanna see from his angle. Because always when it's pressure, you wanna wonder how people react when they see stuff, when you show it. So there, my man at arms is in. And I just walk right over and do I please tell me I kill this guy? No. But I don't I don't even get hit by that. I'm like, okay. We're alright, we're alright, we're alright. I know where one of his wood lines is. So oh that sucks that that's outside of his view, because I just knew that's where uh, that's the range icon that I have. Oh, oh if I would have seen that tower and got there quicker. Uh, he has a lot there getting there. I get there pretty quick. And then I see what he's doing, and I, I'm like, okay, can I, do I get anyone? I'm going to be so mad. I should have just st stood under it. Kill him! Kill him! Oh, I got one! I got one! Oh! Yeah, right, guys. All right, that, all that for a drop of blood. <laughs> oh, boy. So what am I doing at home? Uh, so, did I see something? No, I'm just thinking of going into archers on my own. No, I saw his archery range. My scout was sitting here. I saw his archery range. So I'm like, okay, that means he's going to pull out skirms or archers or, or something like that. So I build my archery range in response. Uh, TC idle time, not bad, but look how much the pressure I forced him into. Uh, and I'm like, okay, I saw this wood line. I set my scout right in there. And I, uh, <laughs> let me try to block, try to block. Good job blocking. Good job blocking. Jeez, oh man. Oh man, if I knew he had, oh, okay. I was like, if I knew that was one archer. Oh, okay. But I mean, I'm putting pressure on him. My TC is now suffering a little bit from it though, but uh, you know, my res, or my uh, resources are okay. Still better than his, um, but he has no choice. He has to go back to this wood line. Um, you know, I'm still sort of able to hit things, and this is when I come back, I right, get my second one. Um, I built a few skirmishers because I saw him come out with the archers. So I was like, ah, if I have a couple skirmishers, that'll protect anything I have. Uh, they do come in handy. I make a pretty great play with them later than a dumb play um, a little bit after that. <laughs> uh, so I go back to my scout to see what's up, and I'm like, he's got archers, and then I just pull his archers away so they follow me, and then pull in my man at arms behind uh, to hopefully kill some village. Please kill a guy. Thank you. All right, we've got one guy. Okay, this is when I, it started to, for me, I'm like, okay, we now, we're doing some damage. Um, we're taking some advantage. I didn't realize I got two there, almost three. Uh, and I still know there's some more up here, so I just loop back up and, and, and try to kill some more. And I'm getting really no response from him whatsoever. Um, this is with the you know, couple archers now. I think he's able to get rid of my uh, my man at arms. I was trying to come back and use the the hill, but then I walked. I clicked back to my base. 
we would build a farm or something and walk too far. So then I was coming uphill, uh, and then that kind of... <laughs> like, imagine how I just attacked downhill right there. Um, I think I would have taken at least one out, maybe, maybe two. Alright, so at this point I'm just building archers, and after a couple spear or skirmishers I, I made, and I'm like, okay, uh, I, all I know he has is a few uh, archers, uh, so I know even if he comes to my base, he's not going to be able to like one-shot any of my um, villagers or, or do a whole, whole ton of damage. And I did notice this house walling that, that he had going on. Oh, so he got town watch while I'm getting fletching. Maybe fletching he should have got. Um, yeah, because look at my upgrades compared to him. So even if we have equal economies, which we kind of do, even with my, well, with my three kills, I mean, that's, we're pretty even aside from that. So I decided, I'm like, okay, I got, I got eight. I'm going to take my little ball of, I mean, pretty much nothing and, and head forward uh, while I go up to Castle Age. Oh man, that's how, okay. Because I'm like, how did he beat me? Because I was like, he should have been at least closer, but that dang melee time, I forgot about again. Kill the, kill the poor line. Um, yeah, but I mean, at this point, so I still know where his wood lines are. I had my scout, you know, run back across. So, I mean, I know nothing's come out uh, that, that could hurt me. And... You know, at home I have it was 17 farms, so I'm you know pretty good. I know I'm gonna either go into uh, archers and cro or crossbows, or I'm even thinking about building knights at this point because I see how open he is to just people running, just uh, you know knights running running straight in. Uh, so that starts to be what I, I start thinking about. And here I'm like, why is he... Wow, he's up quick. He doesn't have anything... Didn't seem like he had that much at home. And now he's getting the man-at-arms upgrade without having any man-at-arms. And so I just decide to harass him on the on the wood line here. I maybe shouldn't have showed my guys. I should have maybe stood around and, and came to this stone and, and took the stone. I think that's what I do anyway. Uh, but that would have made it, you know... Probably a little bit, a little better. Just come straight back here, boom, boom, kill those guys, kill this guy. Cause I think he sees, he saw me, or he knows I'm up here now. So I hit the castaways, and then I immediately go for my crossbow. I think I even look for my, yep, my my bodkin. And so at this point, what do I have? Five, five archers on here and three skirms, which. I mean, let's be honest, they don't, like, it's just terrible damage. I'm just annoying the crap out, I'm not really doing, I'm not killing anyone right now. I'm like, oh no, a tower! But then I notice, I have one of the armors, I should have got the other archer armor right here. Oh man, would that have, would that have helped me. But, I'm building, I have a stable, I start building knights. I'm adding a few more crossbowmen. And here I come down, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to separate my force. And then I think, wait a minute. What are skirmishers good at absorbing? They're a big meat pad. He has all these guys protected under this tower. So I throw my skirms in to be a meat shield. And then I come in with my archers and start shooting up the joint. And then I go underneath and put them on no move and just let them annoy the crap out of this wood line take his gold and honestly I should have left them there I should have left them there <laughs> let me rephrase let me restate let me state this again <laughs> I should have left them there instead I walk out between a tower and a TC and then bring my other resupply archers directly through the TC fire and leave with two fewer archers than I came up with, put them on the hill in range of the tower, and watch them go down. But he's been distracted. <laughs> I've started building knights. <laughs> um, and I still know he's wide open. I did see the second TC of his, so I'm like, oh crap, I, uh, 
I'd better build another TC too, because uh, you know if this draws on and it's going to be you know battle resources villagers and stuff like that. I mean, I have so much food though. I should be building. I should have just made hussars. I shouldn't even have made paladins. Or I mean knights. I mean, if I have all, if you have all the upgrades, and I had. I, I mean, I could have. I don't know, I guess 10 or so, but then I do get a nice nice chunk of knights coming through here once or twice. I don't know. Because they could already be out, and I would still be spending that money I already spent on knights. So, I mean, I could have 500, 600 gold worth of hussars if I had another, or light cap or whatever I'm on. Um, having all spent that. Oh, <laughs> scout cap. Yeah, I just threw a couple... Uh, crossbowmen out here just in front of this wide gold I had just in case he brought something down uh, then at least I'd get notified by them getting hit beforehand and so here I'm like you know what I'm gonna take my knights under this stuff for at least a little bit um, and then I run through all of his crap and I head over to I know where his other wood line is so I know exactly where I'm gonna hit uh, I just keep re-hitting this wood line because he did nothing to protect it uh, so look now I get thumb ring even though I that's probably wasted now, because now I'm just building, I'm building knights because they're being, they're so effective against everything. So I've gotten seven eco kills, or you know, eight villagers, eight eco kills apart right now. That is literally all that's done it. Um, and I tried to give my guy the hill advantage here, and it did work. And I put him up by the villagers to hopefully take care of one or two of them. And then he says, "Heck with it, I'm going to run into the fire of arrows." And I bring more knights in um, to this side. Keep hitting villagers. You know, and this is... You know, I, I probably set them on this TC for too long until I noticed it. I was looking somewhere else. But... I mean, at this point, I, I got 10 kills. I'm up by 13 kills, and I'm just starting to roll. Uh, I had the knights kept coming in. I'm gonna, you know, where am I gonna go? I'm gonna attack the same wood line again. And I'm gonna come around this side I know this is open. I'm looking. I know he's thinking about taking stone because I know he's going to be wanting a castle to protect all this. And if he gets a castle, I'm in trouble. So that's the race we are against right now. Um, but at this point, I mean, after these villagers on this wood line go down, it's I'm, I've just done so much damage. And I, you know, I'm not even really worried about these. I got. I'm getting the second armor now, so I know if I just run around a little bit. <laughs> And he, he did say GG. We did GG after this. Um, but I love this. You are one of the annoying sort. Didn't say another thing. Didn't elaborate. Just you are one of the annoying sort. <laughs> and I did have pressure the whole time. Um, so I, it was very annoying to him in this game. Great value. Uh, percent. I mean, look at the eco kill. 17 to not like... He did nothing. He never... Did he ever... F no, he was. He found me. Oh, my gosh. I mean, look how... He doesn't see anything. I mean, I don't... I usually see better. I mean, I should have part started putting um, outposts and things out. <clears throat> Let's look at... Military... That was the one big one where I left those guys. Oh, yeah, when I killed all my guys under the TC and on that hill. Yeah, that was great. That was great. That was great. I mean, imagine if I only lost half of those and then put that army on top of it. Ugh. Oh, and my eco, wow. I mean, I guess I did do a little damage and disrupt him and annoy him pretty... What, whereabouts, right? Actually, not to, like... Here probably, and by then we are we are we are separated. Villagers, my high is fifty-seven, not bad. Uh, wonder how total. Okay, he only got up to forty-one though. Well, pretty lopsided by the end there. Appreciate you all tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed these because these are my games. I am Terry Maximo. 
And these are the diaries that I am doing of this game. And that could have been better. That could have been better. Not my game, though. Well, my game could be a little better. But anyway, uh, the outro. The outro could be better. We'll hit it next time, guys.